Hey guys, Coach Tarek back for the segment of called Animating the Queue. Uh, and in this particular um, section, I want to cover off the uh, dead uh, clean with the kettlebell, but also the traditional clean, okay? Because the outcomes are a little different and sometimes we get confused um, about the movement itself. So the first one I want to cover is the dead clean. Some of you may have heard of this analogy of zipping the jacket. Now, I always use this, is that when we zip a jacket, where is the position of the hand? So I always want to make sure that the client is observing, observing specifically this concept of the zipping, okay, in the up phase. So again, here again, remember that there's a series of different neural feedback loops that are created. Number one is there's a visual feedback loop, the client's watching you. Number two, there's an auditory feedback loop. So that's why we don't want to load them with too much because the feedback loops may become negative, not positive. So here's the start position. Okay, I want you to get just under that kettlebell, again, referencing the implement. Now I want you to imagine zipping powerfully up that kettlebell, zipping the kettlebell toward, okay? Toward me, okay, toward the body. So you can sometimes use an external internal reference. Which is, which, is, which is great, but again, here again, we want to focus more on the external. Here, the zip. And down. Now, another cue that I've been playing around with is this idea, and again, context bound, of yanking that cord. And again, I use the analogy of a lawnmower. So if I try to start that lawnmower up really slowly, I'm not gonna start it up. What I need to do is yank that kettle, that, that uh, cord of that lawnmower. So that's what it's akin to here. So I want you to yank the cord of that lawnmower. Again, context bound. So that's the up phase on a, on a dead clean, but how do we actually get it down? So there's often two tricky phases here that the client may be tripped up on. So once we've used either of those uh, analogies or metaphors, and I'm in this position, I'm gonna release it. Now, oftentimes you may have seen this, that clients may tend to drop the kettlebell this way internally. It's like they're chucking the bell, really bad for the shoulder joint. So what you wanna say is one cue, again, context bound, is like Spider-Man, okay, releasing the web. Here, release. Release that web. That's really important. So when I release, I can either unzip, okay, if I'm in a, uh, in a dead clean, I can unzip that jacket. So I wanna zip the jacket. I want you to make sure that you unzip that jacket. <laughs> unzip. Zip, unzip. So that way, you're not causing this to happen. You don't unzip a jacket this way. So again, that visual together with that metaphor, zip the jacket. Nothing about body parts, again. Now, if I change the trajectory of this clean, we now have a difference here of the kettlebell clean, traditional, versus the dead clean. So what will happen is oftentimes clients may lose this understanding of proprioception. Where's the bell in relation to them? Where are they relation, in relation to their space? So here again, what I wanna focus on is at seven o'clock, I want you to pull and cushion like an egg. Cushion the egg, cushion the egg. Here, if I come too hard, I'm gonna break that egg. Okay, not nice. So here, pull and cushion that egg. So again, a nice analogy that we're gonna use here. So that's one. Now, when I release this, this is where we can start to use that Spider-Man emphasis, okay? Two, two ones that I can play around with here. The idea of the Spider-Man, okay, here, Spider-Man releasing the web. Or the other one is passing the dish as if you're a waiter. Here, pass the dish. We're not passing the dish this way. Pass the dish. 
That's spilling the dish. Okay, so really important there. I didn't have to, now, this may work for a good percentage of clients. It may not work for everyone. So it's really important to be selective. That's why the very beginning, um, and how I coach in this program, is that I emphasize on an assessment, a coaching assessment. Um, we always forget about the fact that we might be coaching other, other facets, we might be looking at assessing physiological parameters, which is all very good, but how about understanding from an assessment perspective how we can coach the client through these cues. So I hope you enjoyed that one and that your uh, kettlebell cleans, both the dead and the traditional for your clients may become a lot smoother. Thanks for watching.